Hey everyone. Okay, let's talk ballet arm positions. Um, for this video, we're just going to be focusing on the arms. So for your feet, you can stay in first position the whole time. What that looks like again is putting your feet together, turning your toes out to the side, keeping your heels connected in the back, making a V-shape, zipping those legs up so that you're standing nice and tall. Remember, posture is really important in ballet. So we're going to focus on the arms and we're going to take you through the five positions of the ballet arms and I'm going to also count with you in French while we're doing that. So it's kind of like a double whammy on this lesson. Um, starting in first position, we're going to take our fingers and let me show you what ballet hands look like. Ballet hands, um, I, I refer to as cheeseburger hands. So you can pick any snack you really like to eat that's sloppy, but for me, I like my cheeseburger with everything on it, loaded up. Mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup, relish, you name it. Can get messy, right? So ballet hands look like this. I'm gonna come up and show you a little bit closer. So your index finger is going to be slightly above the rest of your fingers, but relaxed. So you don't wanna have all this tension like this. Those are monster hands, don't do that. Ballet hands are very graceful. Um, so we're here. And if I brought my cheeseburger to my mouth, I would not spill all of that messy stuff on my fingers because my fingers are lifted. Okay, so cheeseburger hands. Good, got that down. So we're gonna bring, pretend that there's a string right here where your belly button is, and we're going to pull that string out with our cheeseburger hands. This guy is his first position. You're already there. Just make sure that you are not angular or straight. You wanna be somewhere in the middle, curved. Your shoulders are down and relaxed. Your neck is nice and long. Your posture is tall and proud. So first position is called un, because that is number one in French. Everyone say un. Good, first position. Let's go to second position. From here, take your arms out to the sides. Again, keeping those shoulders down. You wanna pretend you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades, okay? So if you can imagine that, squeeze your shoulder blades. You're going to keep your wrists below your elbow. So not in line here, slightly lower. We have a nice round curved position. This is known as de. Everyone say de. And that's number two in French, second position. Nice job, let's go back to un. And now de. Good. Let's go into position three. Third position, I'm going to use uh, my left, but you guys will use your right. Third position looks like this. So one arm is in first position and one arm is in second position. Another way to remember this is one plus two is three. Third position is called trois. Everyone say trois. Good, that's three. Shake out your shoulders. Let's do that again. Un, deux, trois. Nice work. Moving on to number four. That arm that's in first position is going to go all the way up. Keep that shoulder down and arms rounded. This is fourth position. Everyone say quatre, quatre, quatre. That one's kind of tricky. Almost like tendu. You have to have a little bit of <clears throat> frog in your throat for that one. Keep working on your pronunciation, I will too. Um, from here, you can do fourth position crossed, where you take your second position arm, which should be your left arm, and you bring it back down to first position. So these two together make fourth crossed. Good. And so the last one we have is fifth position, where you bring this arm all the way up, keeping your shoulders down and arms rounded. Don't forget about your index finger or your cheeseburger hands. Five in French is cinq. Everyone say cinq. Cinq. Good job. Bring those arms down, shake out your shoulders. I think we're ready to do this with music. What do you think? Oh, here we go. Okay. Un. Deux. Trois. Quatre. Quatre cross. Release 
the arms, bring them down, and let's do the whole thing to the left. Here we go. Uh, deux, trois, quatre, quatre cross, cinq, bring the arms down. Great job guys, working on your arms in ballet. That's known as port de bras. And what that means is how you carry your arms. Super important in ballet. Check you out in the next video.